Oh, the question basically is the brother said alhamdulillah mashallah is a very calm person he takes a lot he's patient but with some people the more they take when they lose it when they blow they blow up completely they lose it completely what is the best way to remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to not lose your patience the first advice of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when you feel yourself becoming angry is to do isti'ada seek refuge in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from shaitan but sincerely not customarily not customarily like you find some people become angry due to what our tongue is used to Astaghfirullah to It's just customarily But is he really seeking Allah Ta'ala forgiveness? People do that because if you are bad as a parent The Salaf used to say Asaitullah wa raitu athadhalika fi zawjati wa dabati Anytime I disobey Allah I'll see the effects in my children and my wife So people say Astaghfirullah Maybe it's my sin But nowadays because people hear their parents saying it Astaghfirullah But the next thing that will follow Maybe it's an insult because the staff Allah just something on his tongue. Astaghfirullah. I may say something, Himar, Ibn Kalb, Hada Shufti, Yahudi, Hada. They will say anything, come out of their mouth. So even isti'adah, ask Allah Ta'ala's forgiveness. And ask Allah, seek refuge in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. From the things you should do, make wudu. Because the shaitan is made of fire. The wudu, it calms you, it cools you. Another thing you should do, like we say, if you're standing, sit down. These are the things of the Sunnah, but each and every single person also knows themselves. So there's some other things, not necessarily to Quran and Sunnah, that has been proven that helps people with bad tempers, especially those who are very patient. Do not allow issues to fester. Because there's a difference between Afu, Wal Musamaha, and to forgive. Some people, they're tolerant, but they've not forgotten. It's still there in their hearts. And even though it's in your heart, when the person does it again and again and again and again, one day you eventually blow up. So what you should do, you should learn to vent yourself, express to this person when you've calmed down, that you see what you did. Even if they repeat it again, you'll not become so angry because you vented it. The venting has gone out of your heart. But if you keep ignoring and ignoring, because sometimes people don't offend you, they don't even know. But you've been ignoring it, you're allowed to fester in your heart. It's not a good thing. It's not good for your heart. And it's not good when you eventually do blow up. And that's why they say people with the cleanest of heart sometimes are people with the most temper. Because you just let it out. But of course you do it in a good way. Don't allow things to fester. Don't allow things to build up in your heart. That if you're a very patient person, call the person what you did is wrong. You should not have done this. You should not have done that. And advise the person to let it out. By letting it out, maybe they'll never repeat it again. And even if they do, you've actually released some of the anger that's contained within you. Don't allow things to fester. Many people do that. Also on the issue of pardoning is pardoning sometimes it goes hand in hand with punishment. Depending on the situation. Allah Ta'ala said, Idfa' billati ya ahsan. Repel with that which is better. Repelling with that which is better is not always not to cause someone to account for their deeds or to punish them for their deeds. Do you understand? Because somebody, it kills somebody by driving by accident, but you know this person is a very careful driver. What should you do? Forgive, and you'll feel better in your heart. What if this person, he drives recklessly, he drifts, he's killed so many people. That forgiveness, is it a letty asset? Is it a better thing to do or to punish? To punish. And true punishment, even of our children, or reprimanding them, reprimanding them, it calms us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he punish us. Evil has appeared on the sea and the land because of what people have done. And Allah ta'ala makes these things happen. So they'll go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So forgiving, forgiving, forgiving and forgiving also can make you get upset if you over forgive. It makes you, in places you should forgive, it makes you increase your temper. So those three things, make wudu, see refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you stand and sit down, if you sit and lie down, and do not allow things to fester within you, always advise so it doesn't increase within you. And sometimes, no, the best form of repellence is to punish and to reprimand. Now.